Today I'm going to be walking through the steps required to deploy a Docker image as a Firecracker micro VM on an open Nebula cloud. Here's a quick overview of what we'll be doing in the screencast. First, I'm going to be selecting a Docker image from the Docker Hub. Then I'm going to be creating an open Nebula image based on that Docker image. I'll add the new image to a VM template and then ultimately we'll deploy the micro VM. Okay, so let's get started. The first thing we need to do is find the image that we want to use. In this example, we're going to use the Nginx web server image. Once we've selected that image, we need to keep in mind two main attributes. First, the name of the image, it's Nginx in this case, and the tag among the supported ones that we're going to use. So in this example, we're going to use the stable Alpine tag. With this information, we can go to the Open Nebula web interface and create the new image. Okay. So in order to create the new image, we need to provide the name. We'll call it Ingenix. The image type is going to be the operating system, and we do not want the image to be persistent. Once we filled this information, we need to define a URL, like this one here. We specify that it's going to be a Docker image based on the Ingenix image, and we're going to use the stable Alpine tag. The size of the image is going to be about one gig, We'll use ext4 for the file system, raw for the format, and the distribution is going to be Alpine. Now we just create the image. All right, we can see that the image is in a locked state. We'll just wait a few seconds. Okay, now it's ready. So now it's ready, we can use it, and we'll add the image to an existing VM template. We see this VM template also has a network interface. It has a custom script for customizing the content that's shown on the main page of the Nginx server. And it has a custom variable to define the root password. So we just click the update button and update the template. The only step now is to instantiate the micro VM. So we'll go ahead and do that. Okay. So now in the VM's view, we'll take a look and we can see that the VM is in prologue state. That means that the VM is being created. So we'll just wait for it to be in a running state. Good. And now we can connect to it through the VNC and check the VM configuration. Okay, we'll log into the VM. We can take a look and see the network configuration. Here we see the IP address is configured correctly. So now we can start the Ingenix server. We can see that the server is started correctly. So now we'll try to connect to it and see how it's working. Great. Right, so we've connected to it. We've got the web server up and running. That's it for now. I hope this was helpful and keep posted for more Open Nebula screencasts.